This video, we are going to discuss about SCADA system in a coffee vending machine. Hello, my name is Mohamed Shafiq Bezakifli. Hello, my name is Noriza Yubenti Zainuddin. Hello, my name is Wendy Dominica Hian Mi. SCADA is a control system architecture that consists of computers, network, data communication and graphical user interfaces. The aim of SCADA is to monitor and control on-site devices at remote sites. SCADA systems are critical to ensuring efficiency through the collection and processing of real-time data. This encompasses industrial plants, manufacturing, transport, oil and gas, distribution of power and water control. SCADA system performs several functions that allow for proper management of remote facilities. The following are the core functions of a SCADA system. First, data acquisition. The collection of SCADA data frequently involves analog to digital conversion. Temperature is converted to degree Celsius. Transmit signal strength is converted to dBm. Channel quality is measured in arid second. Second, network data communication. The collected data is transmitted either spontaneously or in response to a request for data to upstream consolidator or master. The communication channel can be analog or digital. SCADA network topology typically also include transport validation independent of any content validation. Third is control. If control decisions are warranted at the system support output, Appropriate command can be dispatched to affect specific operational or configuration change. Most controls are performed by RTUs and PLCs. Lastly, data presentation. The collected data is processed, organized and presented for system operator to make appropriate response and control decision. The presentation can vary from tabular presentation of log event to graphical presentation again mapping or image background. There are four main components of SCADA. Firstly, is input. Sensor and control relays perform the data acquisition but can't interpret communication protocol on their own. SCADA system still needs a way to collect this data and report it to user in a meaningful way. RTUs come into play. Secondly, is remote telemetry units. In short, RTUs. Just like PLC, RTUs are small computerized unit deployed in the field. RTUs serve as local collection points for gathering reports from sensors. Third, human machine interface, in short HMI. HMI software is a computer master station system that processes data and allows a human operator to manage and control the system. HMI SCADA software will present the data as an initiative graphical representation based on maps. Lastly, communication network. The communication network is what connect telemetry and SCADA at your remote sites. Today, one of the most common communication technology is Ethernet. This example is the form of simulation of a coffee vending machine. They all have familiar user interface, display functions, control functions, alarm, recipe, and security function. This example uses memory points for simplicity. With minimal changes, the application could easily be monitoring and controlling a real PLC. Coffee machine inputs, alarms. The mechanism of alarm is to create an alarm should any of the resources runs out. Data logging. In order to analyze specific trends or record the database events slash actions of a system, network, or IT environment, data logging is the process of collecting and storing data over a period of time. Report generation. Data can be easily formatted and exported into a textual report, for example, .txt, .rtf, or .html format for the operator's reference. Security. Operations can be restricted to users with acceptable security privilege. The system will only allow supervisors or those with higher privilege to open the machines. Graphs and charts. Real-time data can be graphically represented on bar charts and trend graphs. File handling. A file handling 
page allows the selected drink to be written to a file on the disk. The file format will look like this. 342, 30th October 2002, user selection 14. 344, 30th October 2002, user selection 22. 353, 31st October 2002, user selection 16. Database, the facility to write ingredients used to a standard database. So, for the operational part, I will show you how the SCADA system can manage to control and monitoring the system. So, uh, in this assignment, we choose the coffee machine. Inside of this coffee machine, contain five tanks. I will show you the five tanks. This is the first tank, second tank, third tank, fourth tank, and fifth tank. Uh, which refer as the coffee. This is for the coffee. This is for the water. This uh, tank refer to milk tank. This one for tea. And lastly, for the sugar. <coughs> there are several fun uh, there are several functions that has been set up inside of this machine such as the alarm uh, then the database the data log the file graph main so this is the main interface of the machine to open the door uh, report and security system the function of the system is i will show you uh, the how the system work <coughs> So the function of uh, alarm system is uh, the alarm system will trigger if any if any if detect any liquid inside of the tank is empty. As example, let's say uh, the let's say the value in uh, the liquid inside the um, coffee tank is empty then the this message will pop up so that with using SCADA the supervisor the supervisor or anyone who monitor the machine will go and refill the empty liquid i will show you so this is the system first thing first i need to log in inside of the machine Let's say I'm the manager. So I can open this door and if I want to sh uh, I want to show you how the alarm will trigger. Let's say I set up this 221. Then we close this. Close the door and we insert the number here let's say 11 then insert the coin the coffee will so you see the alarm will pop up alarm message it say that coffee deposit is empty so i need to refill the coffee so the value here is zero just now i set it to uh, 21 now after I put uh, insert the number and the coffee come out the value come to zero let's say I set it to 1000 and ok so coffee deposit is refill so the person who monitor the machine can know either the liquid inside of the inside of the machine still empty or refillable secondly the function uh, is the graph so this uh, with graph this graph also uh, will show you the liquid inside the tank while the supervisor monitor the machine from far away so with kada the supervisor of machine can know either the liquid inside of the tank empty or no i will show you 
so this is the graph see the coffee level is in the middle half which is thousand and the other liquid is still fully if people keep uh, keep use this machine the graph of this liquid will decrease until it empty once they empty the alarm will pop up so the function of ASCADA give a lot of advantage to the company or the system the disadvantage of the SCADA is the programming is hard to understand and to use it so the machine operate just like this just like any other vending machine just insert number which one you want example we insert the 24 which is refer to the milk insert the coin the milk become up so there is no notification alarm because the milk level still high level so we can monitor it from far away let's say we set a uh, milk to any number below than 100 let's say 90 we close it milk 24 so error because see the graph Yeah, the milk level is not enough. That's why become error. Let's say we go again. Twenty four milk. So milk deposit is empty because the liquid inside the milk inside the tank is empty so me as the manager will ask the worker to go to refill the milk let's say i refill it to thousand because the maximum value is two thousand so i will refill to thousand which is half of it so the alarm will trigger and you see the milk level increase milk deposit is refilled if the report generation so the function of uh, report generation someone who refill the machine or monitor the machine need to fill up need to generate the report so people will know who monitor the machine that's all for the fun operation part of this coffee machine thank you for your attention